old bump thing around the door. Please come. Please get back in. Good morning guys. Yeah, I'm about to show you guys my outfit because I have a little style tip for colder months. Um, but this week I'm basically just going to take you guys along for my week. I've been doing more structured videos lately and this vlog is going to be back to my messy random chats throughout the day whenever I feel like vlogging. So come along today is Sunday. We have clients starting at 2.30 but I want to go to Walmart to print off a bunch of pictures that I have went through on my phone and decided what pictures I want to have printed because I want to start using photo albums again. I've never really had a photo album except for when I was like little um, and I just want to start having like physical copies of pictures um, because I think it'll be nice for people to look through when they come over or just even for like my future children or future nieces and nephews and just for myself. I'm a very um, nostalgic person. I love memories. I love stories. I love just history of a human being and I love going through other people's photo books so I figured it was time for me to make my own as well as I just have this like lack of trust in iCloud and in storing your photos on your phone and stuff like that so we're gonna go do that I also need to get some glue for my scrapbook journal things that you guys would have seen already but I'm just gonna take you guys along I hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe if you're new here so first of all I wanted to show you guys these pair of leggings that I've got I get them pretty much every year now through the, throughout the winter and my grandma actually bought me these pair because she reminded me of them they're basically leggings that have like a fleece material on the inside and they're pretty thick so they're great for when you're wearing things like this because you can throw them on underneath and then you don't have to worry about being cold or about your legs being cold you can even wear them under jeans this is the outfit i'm gonna put it on now and then we're gonna head out also say good morning to my meeks this is my outfit for the day. The sweater is from Aritzia. It's just like this blue oversized sweater. And then these pants I actually got from the thrift store, but they're from the brand Columbia. And then as I said before, I have on the little leggings underneath to keep me nice and warm. This is the bag that I'm bringing. Let's pack it. Headphones, keys, Dior lip gloss, tampon, just in case I'm supposed to get my period any day now. I guess I'll bring some hand sanitizer and that's good. I don't know if I need a jacket. Oh, I didn't put perfume on. This is my favorite perfume right now for the fall time. It's Replica by The Fireplace. I bring it with me everywhere. It smells very spicy, kind of musky, sweet. But it's definitely for like a specific scene. Like I can't see myself at a wedding with that perfume on or it's like fall time outdoor. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Let's go. Okay, well, I will see you guys at Walmart. I'm gonna blast my music and drive, and catch you later. Okay, I'm back. I got my pictures. I didn't get to get all of them. By the way, if you hear a noise, it's because the washing machine's on. Um, but I didn't get to get all the pictures I wanted, but there are quite a few, and there were no photo albums, so I think I'm gonna order one on Amazon that I already took a look at last night, and I liked it a lot, so I think I'll get that one. I think there's maybe like, 20 pictures or so that I still need to print. For some reason, my phone was just giving me issues. I literally had to make like a bunch of separate orders in order to print this many. And then the last time it just like kept downloading. It wouldn't actually show the pictures I needed. So I think the issue is that they're not downloaded fully out of iCloud. I don't know, I'm confused. I really don't understand how iCloud and all of that stuff works. I also have been using my disposable camera a lot more lately, so I'm excited to have these printed eventually and then be able to add it to the photo album as well. Hi, my Nika Beanie. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You want me to rub your belly? You want me to rub the belly? Of all bellies, this is the one belly I really, really want to rub. First thing, they had COVID tests, so I decided to pick one up because I know it's getting colder and it would be nice to have this whenever. You know, sometimes you get like a sore throat or something and then you're like, is that COVID and you want to take a test but you don't have a test? Now I have some tests. I also got some quinoa. I haven't made quinoa in literally like years, I want to say, but I used to like it and I feel like it's an easy way to be a little bit healthier. So I think I'm going to try and make some stuff with that. I also got halloumi because I love fried halloumi. I've made it with one of my good food orders before and I really, really liked it. So I picked that up that way I could do it again. I also picked up some ground beef. And then the last two things are stuff for my little scrapbook thing. If you guys haven't seen, I basically turned my journal into more of like a scrapbook. So 
it's like some pages are just journal entries and then other pages are more messages and stuff like that so anyways i bought some craft bond rubber cement glue stuff it's better for scrapbooking and stuff like that and right now i've been using super glue and i've been going through it way too fast so i need something more um, and then I also got this little thing. They had like these little notepads and I thought this one would be cute to like glue onto some of the pages for my journal entries. It just says, for today, more of this, less of that. I want to show you guys a few of the pictures that I printed. Basically what I did was I went into my phone and I made two albums. One is called Printed Dates and then one is called Print. So all the pictures I wanted to print are in the print album. And then in the Printed Dates, I have some pictures screenshotted. That way I can see like what day the picture is from. That way I know what day is on it so that I could put it on the back of the photo. Um, so for example, in 2018, I received this PR package. I showed you guys this recently in my, I think it was like reorganizing my bathroom and stuff and my makeup. And I showed you guys that I had gotten a product from the Quick Flick and I found the picture on my phone. So I wanted to put that in there because that was like really a big deal to me at the time. It still is. There's pictures of just me and like my grandparents. There's baby pictures of me. That's me going to ballet I was a little girl so my aunt her name is auntie Bibby. she we call her my egg mama because we say that she gave her egg to my mom to have me she didn't actually but that's the joke because I'm like her daughter you know so anyways she is like they used to call her pageant mom because she would dress me up and take photos of me all the time and I think that's why I still like dressing up and taking pictures. Like, I think she just started me off at a young age. But this is one of the pictures she's taken of me. And <laughs> she drew a little mole on me. Like, can you just take a second for this picture? She wrapped a scarf around me, her little fur hat. I am all the drama. Are you kidding me? Love that picture. This was when I went to Portugal. So pretty. Wow. Family pictures. This was the day that I picked up Miko. He was so tiny, like super, super tiny. This is a picture of me with a stuffed animal that was basically Miko. <laughs> so cute, I love that. Like that's me now, that's literally me now, just with the real thing. When I was little, all I wanted was a dog. Like I begged and begged and begged and begged and begged. That's all I wanted. I wish for it every Christmas, every birthday. And he was definitely worth the wait, like the little rat that he is. Anyways, those were some of the pictures. I want to take Miko for a little walk before my clients and everything. And I'm opening the blinds as well because I haven't done that yet today. Oh no, this cushion has paws on it. I need to wash this stuff. I wash it, I would say like, when I say this stuff, I would, that was not a proper sentence. I need to wash the cushion covers. I wash them every, I would say few months maybe. This is Miko's new jacket. It's very handsome. Let's go for a walk. Do you still speak a long time? It's 8.47 p.m. and Miko just got sprayed by a skunk. Yep, that just happened. Please don't get the zoomies and go on the couch. That's just... I don't even know how to block this off. Like, how do I... I don't want him to go on here. Um, okay, so let me give you guys backstory. I was gonna go take a shower, and then... No, 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 no! Oh, God. <sighs> I've literally been laughing throughout this entire experience, because, like, what else do I do? Like... Like, <coughs> Miko, no, don't run on the couch. <coughs> the smell hasn't really been getting to me, but I think now that I've dealt with the situation, now the smell can bother me. It's like I didn't have a chance to even be bothered by the smell. Not that I didn't smell it, like I smelled it, I just wasn't focused on it. Um, I was focused on his eye, because he got sprayed in the face, and... His eye, he couldn't open his eye for like a good few minutes. He came in like, and like foaming at the mouth. Ugh, I wanna light a few matches and see if that helps at all. Um, but anyways, I was gonna go take a shower and before I was, Nico, don't jump on the couch, okay? Stay off. Before I was gonna go take a shower, that 
the match didn't work, but the smoke came. Um, I wanted to let him out to go pee before I... How many times am I going to say this sentence? Before, before I went to go take a shower, I was going to let him out to go pee. And then I did, and he ran out, he ran out, and I could tell he ran out after something. And then I called him, and he came back, but when he came back, it was very, like... I literally yelled after him, I was like, Miko, no! And then it was too late. And when he came in, I didn't smell it right away, but I could tell by his face that something was wrong. And then he tried to go into the bedroom, and I, like, redirected him into the bathroom. Didn't know what to do, I went on Google. Found out that if you mix hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap, that's actually better than tomato juice. Tomato juice isn't really like a thing anymore, I guess. I grabbed all the cans of tomato juice that I had, or tomato paste or whatever I had. Um, but apparently that's not a thing. So I didn't have that much hydrogen peroxide, I only had a little bit left. So it was mainly baking soda and dish soap, but I let it sit on him for about 10 minutes and every time he takes a bath he gets the zoomies so now he's all excited and trying to run off his wetness I guess. But like he can't be doing that. Nico, you have to calm down. Okay right now all I smell smoke. I'm just gonna light these around the house a bit and hope that this does something. I don't know. So let me just take him out to go pee and then we'll come back and figure it out. I also wanted to watch House of Dragon tonight. <laughs> This is chaos. I also don't know how the skunk is doing. Like, I don't know if the skunk is dead or if the skunk is fine. Like, I don't know if he actually got a hold of it. Miko's not really one to, like, he likes to chase the animals, but he never catches them. So I don't know. Come. Okay. okay, calm down. I know you're very excited and you're cold. Baby, come here. Let me put your jacket on. Okay, okay, I know. He literally has a zoomie so bad he can't even control himself. Relax. Meeks, come here. Do you want to go for a walk? You have to come. Come. Come in. Okay, stay. Okay, that's the smell. I just came back inside. Miko still has the zoomies. It's giving me a headache, but I think it might have been the smoke. I feel like lighting this, like light, like lighting those matches was a really bad idea. I mean, I don't know how much worse it is, but. My bedroom's not that bad, because I closed the door. I told you guys that I've been off birth control for about a month now, and I've been late for my period for like a week. Just like, you know, waiting for it, whatever. And as I let me go out, I realized like, oh, my period just started, <laughs> like I could tell. So not only did I have to go and take care of him and get him all clean and out of pain, because I'm sure that skunk spray in his eye did not feel good. I also had to deal with myself getting my period at the exact moment. Oh my god, it's actually hilarious. Like, that's so funny to me. Like, what are the chances? I wanted water. I also just turned on the fan in the living room, that way the air can circulate. I don't know, okay? I don't know if this is doing anything at all. I just am trying. I'm back. I just searched up how to get rid of the skunk smell in your house and apparently if you leave bowls of vinegar in each room it helps to decrease the smell. Tomorrow I need to buy hydrogen peroxide so that I have some in the house and also if I want to wash Miko again. He has a grooming appointment on Friday which is actually really convenient so he'll get like a deep clean. He's sleeping in his crate right now and he's whining because he wants to sleep with me but I can't let him sleep with me. He's wet which is the main reason and I don't know if he has like lingering smell because I can't like smell it on him because I feel like my nose has kind of gone a little blind to it. So I think that bowl of vinegar actually worked really well. I just came out into the living room and it smells barely like I didn't smell anything so I brought it into the bathroom because that's obviously where I had him the most I also separated the clothes that I was wearing while I cleaned him, just in case it smells and I don't notice. And I kind of wiped down somewhat the floors where he came in um, right after he'd gotten sprayed, just in case his paws had any of this stuff on it. I decided I'm gonna take a shower now because I took a moment, I journaled, had a little laugh, <laughs> and uh, I am now gonna take a shower. I was saying in my journal entry that 
I like opportunities to show up as my best self and I feel like that was one of them. Like that could have been a moment where I really freaked out and I got like overwhelmed. But I was so calm and I just like did my research, figured out how to deal with it and like I wasn't like washing him angrily or like frustrated or like cursing in my brain. Like I was just like at peace regardless of the fact that shit was going down you know what i mean like obviously it's not a great situation for your dog to get skunked and if you don't if you haven't had a dog that gets skunked everyone always says that but like you have no idea <laughs> like it's actually chaotic um but yeah i'm really happy with how i handled the situation and i like situations that give me the opportunity to show up in a way that i'm proud of you know what i mean I'm gonna take a shower now and then I'm gonna watch my TV show, which I'm excited about. Morning guys, I just had a quick business call. The people working on the basement are here and I'm about to go to Tim Morton's because I wanna get a croissant and a tea and then I'm gonna go to the dollar store and get some stuff to continue cleaning Miko as well as I'm gonna get some stuff to kind of prevent skunks. I've seen that mothballs apparently help, so we'll try that and just a few other things. That should help. So that's what this one is looking like. The white vinegar thing really helped in the house, but I only had enough to fill up one bowl. So I'm just filling up some more bowls now to put around the house. Okay, it's time for Miko's second bath. This is the little concoction that I made. It's just baking soda, hydrogen peroxide. The pine salt is for outside to hopefully deter the skunks. And then also there's dish soap in here. I don't know if I sent that, a few little squirts. Let me grab him. So I'm only going to do this part of his body because I did the rest yesterday and he doesn't really smell anywhere other than his face So we're just going to leave it there And again, when you're using this, if you use the solution um, Make sure you avoid their eyes really well because you don't want hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and just soap in their eyes So just like pour it into your hand and then pour it on, don't like, you know, you know what I'm saying? We went and got our nails done. This is what I got done. I got my nails and my toes both on, both with French tips. I'm gonna be an angel slash um, the white swan for Halloween. So I want to do like white nails. Um, I'm reusing the costume for two different days, which is why I said slash. But anyways, I got our, we got our nails done and then we went to the mall and I went to David's Tea. I wanted to pick up a box of like nighttime teas. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making right now. As well as I wanted to get some Earl Grey tea because at the little coffee shop I was at before my yoga class yesterday, I found the best Earl Grey ever. It was like such a yummy cup of tea, so I wanted to get some, but I also wanted to get some caffeine-free tea, so I just got this box, as well as I wanted to get some Nespresso pods. I got the Bianca Allegro pods that I use for my lattes, and then I also figured I'd try one of the iced Ligeros because I feel like it might be similar, just actually meant for iced drinks, which is what I always drink. And then this Halloween, I'm actually doing a lot more things than I typically do. I have an event on the Friday, an event on the Saturday, like two different parties. And then on the actual day of Halloween, I'm going to go and see my dad's side of the family and just kind of be with my siblings. So I wanted to get kind of either a funny or a scary Halloween costume, which I never really do. <laughs> Anyways, I got a costume just now. It's pretty Halloween. 
it's one of the blow up ones so I need to get batteries for it but it's basically an alien that's gonna be carrying me so I think that's gonna be pretty great I'm really excited about it I spent way too much money on my costumes this year um, but I'm also just like gonna reuse them like that one I'm probably gonna use for years to come and then I'll also be able to reuse the other costume for separate things because it's like not a whole costume altogether it's like a corset and then like a tutu and then like wings so I can you know reuse it but anyways I wanted to give you guys a little haul right now we're gonna make this tea the one I'm making right now is the lavender buttercream it smells so yummy Miko came outside but he was covered up in my sweater sleeping in my pile of clothes and he walked out <laughs> Yeah, you have like a little uh, outfit on you, buddy. You're wearing my sweater. You like my Gildan Amazon sweater? It's very nice. I think gray is your color. We're literally matching. Are we friends? Hi, five. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs> Let me show you guys how cute this is. I love my teas during the cold months they're like my favorite thing ever so pretty this is the little tea thing that i'm using so as you can see the little loose leaf is there and i'm just gonna let that steep for a while while i do my skincare and get ready for bed so i'm just gonna say good night to you now i love you have a good night bye hi guys it's Thursday, so I was planning to go to the gym because lately I've been going to the gym on Thursdays or Fridays, but my fridge stopped working. Like, the freezer part is working, but the fridge isn't. So now we have a technician coming in to see if I need to get my fridge either fixed or replaced, and so I can't go to the gym, um, which kind of messes up my plans, but it's fine. Uh. The fridge guy just left. We're gonna have to get a new fridge because it was like multiple things that needed to be fixed and it was gonna end up costing quite a bit. So we have to get a new fridge. Hopefully that will happen soon. Yeah. Luckily I don't have too much food in the fridge. The main things I'm worried about is like Miko's food. I'm gonna have to feed him kibble for the next little while until we get a fridge because I'm not risking that 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 um what's it called meat is still safe i just it's raw food like it's not worth it um and then like my milks my creamers my cheese my sauces are my sauces gonna go bad my sauce collection it better not i don't know the freezer is fine which is good so i was able to keep some stuff just stored in the freezer my new fridge is finally installed today has been such a long day my dad literally just left right now um, but I have all of this stuff behind me that I now need to put in the fridge and I also need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Yeah,